all right so before we start the video you yeah, have to get your sock sock your chubby your lasco your milo your curry goat your ox tail your beef patty your cheese patty with cocoa bread and any little thing where you think you need for sit on through this video your banana chips your plant chips any little thing where you think you need for sit on through this video go get that and come back in all right but anyway welcome to Kalila's TV it's your girl Kalila and today we're gonna be talking about Shikari Richardson all right but I do want to put my disclaimer out there guys when I do speak about celebrities on this channel it is not to condemn them it's not to put them down it is only to discuss the controversy surrounding that celebrity and take away the lessons that we can from their situation and what they're going through because not because they're a celebrity that doesn't mean that we don't experience the same things in our daily life so it's just about us assessing the situation and taking away what we can from it and leaving the messy stuff behind all right but nonetheless today what you guys are going to get is my authentic reaction my real and authentic reactions from the shikari richardson situation now of course you guys aren't going to get my like the first initial response but i am going to run through them with you no cap all right <laughs> just wanted to put that out there and then once we have ran through how i processed the situation as a jamaican um then we'll jump into some of the lessons and the takeaway takeaways that we can get from this situation all right so first thing first i remember scrolling through instagram scrolling through social media and i remember hearing about this shikari chick right fast american girl black chick she can run fast everything like that going to the olympics and i'm like ah 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 black women all day every day so i'm like okay good blah, blah, blah. I'm scrolling a couple days or whatever or so later a week or whatever i don't know i just remember the next time i heard about her was uh, with being linked to some substance right she's like oh she was using some substance or whatever so i was like what the hell is the substance and then they said weed and i'm like my initial reaction was girl you know you shouldn't be smoking no weed because you trying to go to the olympics or not nah. like you know how they look at black people already like girl like what is going on then it further came out that you know she was and she ended up smoking weed because she was dealing with the loss of her mom then my reaction and like immediately changed it was like yo girl can we roll something together because you must be going through it i was like you know like let this girl rock let her go out to the olympics let her run like let her live you know what i mean like let her let her do her thing so it was like i know a lot of pro like a lot of um protesting um petitions everybody was like you know let her run let her run and i'm like yeah let her run you know so um after that i heard like oh she's gonna get to run and i'm like yeah girls don't get to run like you know um by this time i wasn't even thinking about um my fellow jamaican girls it was just like the whole talk was about shikari so i was like yo like let's just run you know so um after that um when was the next time i heard about her okay the next time i heard about her they said that she was going to run when they said that she was going to run i'm like i uh, uh cool, cool cool right then i saw this clip and i'm gonna insert the clip here i took a couple you know i took some time off to rest and now it's game time bitches you have no idea right so that clip to me wasn't nothing you know she was at the salon getting her hair done you know and i feel like a lot of people do that now especially like the down south um not i don't want to say down south but the the tiktoker hairstylists that's what they do like they start the before and then they and the after it's like it's like really it's glamorized right it's like a before and after
and I don't think it's particularly for these TikToks, it's not for the person that's really getting their hair done, it's to promote the hairstylist. So I personally, whatever she sang, she sang in the song, whatever, I didn't, like the Nicki Minaj song, I didn't like really, I didn't look too much into it. It's like, yo, she's about to run, you know, she's gonna, you know, have fun in her race. Like, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I didn't, I didn't think twice about the thing. I was just like, oh, her hair is nice. You know what I mean? So, maybe my fellow Jamaicans will let me know if I'm missing something. But that's the only thing I heard her, I heard that she said about anything regarding the race. I didn't hear about anything else. Now, if you guys have something that, you know, you pulled from the internet, then let me know. But the only thing I heard um, was basically she was in the salon and she was singing the Nicki Minaj verse. And let me tell you this. Everybody, when they feel in they self, when they get the hair done, that's what we do. We sing, we sing Nicki Minaj or Cardi B verses or the Stallion verses. We be, that's, this is what we do. That's just what we do, right? So in my mind, it's like, you know, whatever. I didn't think twice about it. So she went and she ran the race. Now, I, I, like, for the first time in a very long time, I have not been keeping up with the Olympics. I mean, it's a global pandemic. I have other things on my mind. So I have not been keeping up with the Olympics. So, of course, I saw on the shade room that she didn't win the race. And I saw that she came last in the race. Now, this was, like, a little bit of secondhand embarrassment where it's just like damn dog like like damn daniel like uh, it was a little bit of second second hand embarrassment for me i'm gonna be completely honest and i was just like okay and then when i saw everyone like kind of in the comment section bashing her and stuff like that i did start to feel bad and i'm just like yo like she's been through so much it's like when she lost the race at first i felt the secondhand embarrassment and then after that, it was like I looked in the comments and I saw people was talking about her. I'm like, yo, at the end of the day, like she just lost her mom. Like, like she just did like she she been through a lot. Like, let's just live. You know, she had the opportunity to run in the race. That's it. You know what I mean? So the thing is, I was saying these things without actually looking at the race, right? So after you know the internet was doing what the internet does, I was like, you know what? Let me go and actually look at the race now i watched the race and i'm gonna be completely honest i don't know if it's because i'm a jamaican but never did i watch kari like i was so focused on elaine and like the fact that she won i started crying i was like yo she beat her personal best i was just so consumed with the success of Elaine that like I wasn't really focused on the fact that Shikari was just in loss. So what? You know what I mean? She was able to run. And of course, you know us Jamaicans, we can be a little extra. So you know Shelly Ann with a little push up lip but uh But for me, like I just felt like that's all sportsmanship, right? It's just like this is what we do when we're playing game. It's just a little friendly competition. I didn't personally take it. Um I didn't take it anyway. Right? So, um, after the shoot, after they ran the race and stuff like that, and I realized that Elaine won and she beat her um her own personal best, and like you know I was just like so consumed with her, um I just thought the situation was done. Now, what really flipped me was the fact that the shade room posted a comment that shikari liked right and the comment said something i didn't even want like it was just so disgusting to me that i would rather not even read it verbatim right it said something along the lines of um jamaicans shouldn't be talking because they be walking barefoot to work and I'm like, I, I like 
when I say whoever wrote that comment, I wanted to like whoever wrote that comment, I like wanted to jump out of my screen of my phone and appear in their living room and tell them about themselves. Like if it was possible. You know how people be like sometimes like, yo, if you if you could do anything like if you could have any magical power you know would it be to fly would it be to be invincible my magical power in that time and my hope would be to appear in that person's living room appear in their living room and tell them a thing or two all right so i was at, like at that point I was like, yo, Kari, you really making it very, very hard to fucking rock for you. Like, seriously, if that's what you're going to do, you stay over there, sis. You stay over there. It would be a thing over there, sir. And me stay over here, so Like, Kari, let's even know what said. Black girls and everything. That, that, that bone. That, that bone. You understand? So, Mr. on there. I'm, give, I'm giving you guys my authentic reaction. Okay, my authentic reaction. So I was like really pissed. I was really pissed that she liked the comment. I was really pissed at whoever wrote that comment. But I was, my Jamaicans, they came through. That comment section, that comment section on the shade room where everyone literally, literally dragged that lady for the filth. I like, I, I, I love it. I'm not talking about dragging Shikari. I'm talking about dragging the person who wrote the comment because someone did point out in the comment section like, yo, everybody's mad at Shikari and she didn't write the comment. All she did was like it. You know what I mean? And liking a comment is like endorsing it. Nonetheless, I am gonna say she didn't write the comment, okay? So I was just like, you know what? We gon' we gonna give we gonna put Kari on a little bit of break, right? So now I was like, you know what? Let me sit with myself. You know, a day passed by, two days passed by, three days passed by, right? And then I like I went into myself. Now, my Jamaican folks, I want y'all to really and truly sit for a minute. Stop eating the banana chips, stop drinking the suck suck, stop eating the oxtail, put the fork down. I want y'all to really think for a minute, right? Who on God's green earth can get on the internet and talk bad about you the way how you guys have been dragging Shakari? Who can get on the internet and talk bad about Jamaica? the way how you guys drag Shikari. Because let me tell you, I sat down with myself and I said, no, but wait. And I said, this, is, this, is, this was a couple of days. It wasn't the first or the second day. It was like three, four, day, day three, day four. And I said, but wait. If, them, if, me, um, if me was a celebrity or me was somebody or whatever, and I them things you're the people them have a symbol me. Oh me would I respond? When I tell them for God suck them. When I tell them about them deep block. Mm -mm. The thing is, me know how me would I react in that situation. So I said, but all the girl do I like a comment. Because me feel like that, in my personal opinion. Like Shelly when she show up our mouth and thing like that. That was it. Elian done win the race already. We done. We done. Get what we need. Forget our whatever. On to the next race. Hopefully we win the next one. You know, like the 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 dragon. It it kinda it kinda rough. And I feel like so sometimes we feel like true. Them a celebrity. Or them a star. Or them a this. Them a that. Like them not have feelings. Cause dog like. Yeah, me I talk to you. If somebody, if somebody for drag Uno, the we oh Uno, Mr. Uno drag look girl, Uno wouldn't like it. Shot with a fire, people and their mother, them would have done up. So, Mr. You know what? 
Let me sit back. Let me think about this. Cause at the end of the day, everybody have feelings. Everybody gonna feel a little weird. So I say, maybe I'm gonna need to dismiss her so. You understand? And again, me give you know, my authentic reaction. I said, maybe I'm gonna have to dismiss her so. She's a black girl. Hear what? She did at the Olympics. She she young. She run big race. Me not, me, me not with race for me not. Stiffy run no time soon. So I say, you know what? As a Jamaican, I just accept the, the fact that the country, it, the country win, alien do the thing, and we can still support Kari and say, you know what, she's a black girl, you know, like, she can still be successful, she can still be great, she, she can still have her own opinion, and once you go like a little girl, and this kind of going at the lessons, the, the, the lessons and the takeaway what we should have um, from this incident. The one thing I like about her, she always take accountability. You understand? She take accountability. She like with with the whole weed thing when it come out. She said, "Look, I mean that. Me, me know me that do. Me do it." When she moves the rails, she said, look here, my lose, okay, now I'll come back and I'm gonna do better and everything. It wasn't, a, a, she wasn't a person where, where kind of, um, but kind of like bali bali or blame other people. She take responsibility for herself. But nonetheless, me did start like kind of change up how me feel about her and thing. And I said, look here, she's a black girl, we're, like we're all going to win. We all they, we all should be supporting each other, whether the way, the race win or lose. We have to understand say with the Olympics, it's it's competi it's, it's just competition. It's just competition, you know, just fun and jokes and stuff like that. But that should be left to the athletes to do. We as the the, the, the star the people that we are watch. Yeah, we can't have a little one and two comment, but for real and truly, do the girl, we or the Jamaican people, them do the girl, muda vex to, muda vex to. So, me give, like, me kind of just give her the grace and say, you know what, it, it is what it is, and me kind of just move on. Um, she wait me in the she end up and she got the VMAs, she look good, and me just like, you know, me just say, you know, just wish her the best. That's it. That's all I can do. Wish I the best. Elian, they out there. I do fear best. Shelly and out there. I win up the rest them. So, you can't be mad at somebody. Just, you know, just keep it pushing and move on. No, let's jump into the lessons and the takeaways from this situation. Like I, I said before, accountability. If we are, as people, we, we blame other people and we don't take responsibility for our own missteps, for our own mistakes, then in some way, shape or form, sometimes we won't feel responsible or, or yes, yeah, for you're yeah, responsible is the word that I want to use to change these things, right? So example, let's say your significant other cheats on you, right? And you're at home and you're crying that they cheated on you. And okay, you moan the person for the first month. Now we're getting to the third month, you're still moaning the person who cheated on you. Then we get to one year later, you don't wanna date nobody because that person cheated on you. Two, three years later, five years later, you still not dating nobody because that one person back then, they cheated on you. And I feel like when you do that and you're blaming that person, you hold yourself back. You don't take responsibility for yourself. Right? So if you take responsibility for yourself, then okay, well that person cheated on me, so what? I'm moving forward. I still gotta date. I still gotta I still gotta improve. I still gotta do better. So I feel like that's the approach that Shikari um took. Like, yeah, I smoke weed, so what? I'm still moving forward, I'm still gonna do better. I lost the race, so what? I'm still gonna get up and I'm still going to get my grind back on and I feel like that's something that's very admirable and that's something that we should learn take ability take accountability for your mistakes and move on take accountability for your life and keep it moving now another thing and it's not really a tip but it's also just like a takeaway the thing that I wanted to say earlier that I didn't say earlier basically sometimes what happens with us is when we see strong people, we, not that we tend to be intimidated, but we tend to not have the same grace for them. 
like we would the person who cries right if somebody doesn't show emotion if somebody doesn't come and cry in front of you and look all sad and oh my god boo freaking who we don't as human beings sometimes give them that luxury and give them that space to say hey you know what you've been through a lot you know like sometimes even our parents you know like look at look look to that person in your life that they're always they always seem strong they always seem like they have it all together they they don't fold under pressure they just keep pushing that that takes real internal strength it's not it's not easy to take blows and and, and keep going the way how she did you know what i mean like and I feel like sometimes we need to learn like, okay, not because we see like her mom passed away and she's still going and she's still going and she's still going and she's still going. She's still going. She didn't stop to like, like, you know, to like make us know like, oh, she's all so sad about losing the race or she's all so sad about this thing. That doesn't mean that we still shouldn't remember that. Because a lot of times we put on these personas as, as people like we're tough and we're good. But then behind closed doors, that's where we really do break down. So I feel like just another takeaway that we can have, for, uh, just that, that we, can, we should be able to have grace for people, especially those ones who seem strong, those ones who seem put together, those ones who seem like everything is perfectly fine. All right, so another lesson that we can take away from this situation is that it's never about the fall. It's never about the fall. It is always about the comeback. Now, I don't know about you, but I know I've been in a situation where I said I was going to do something that I do. I said like okay i was gonna upload videos for youtube every single week <laughs> and i don't do it i say i'm gonna do things or whatever and i don't do it and it's just like i don't we've all been in situations where you know we say that we're gonna do something that we don't do instead of sitting down and beating yourself up about not doing it just say okay what can i do to be more disciplined what can i do to get my head back in the game and shoot back to the top because a lot of time it's not about getting to the top it's about staying there all right now the other lesson that we can take away from this my Jamaican brothers and sisters, I love you guys. Do unto others as Uno want done to Uno. If Uno don't want a body, sit down there and a cost out Chilean and a cost out alien or a cost out Uno, Uno don't do it to other people. Because here what? Suppose I did Chilean, um, the people them, American people them did a cost out. Or suppose an alien, the Amer alien come to America and, and run or whatever and them, uh, them cuss our out. We see a one would have cuss out the American people then. So we have to realize that hey, what? if we don't want it done to us, don't do it to the next money. You understand? So nonetheless, that was my authentic reactions to the Shikari Richardson situation. Um, also, 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 Irwa, if you don't want a girl, take your man, or you don't want a girl, or a man, take your girl, check out the video right here, so, tune in, and never see you next, next, next time.